Hi, this is Abhijit from Cisco Tag. This video describes the steps to integrate your identity service engine with the Microsoft Active Directory Identity Store, which can be used to authenticate and authorize domain user and machine accounts. The process is similar across all ICE versions, provided that the ICE version and the Active Directory version are compatible. In this video, I am using ICE version 3.3 and Microsoft Windows Active Directory version 2019. ICE version 3.3 supports Windows Active Directory from version 2012 to version 2025. First, let's go over the prerequisite required for IEC and AD integration. To perform this integration, you will need Cisco ISC Super Admin or System Admin Access. You will also need either service account credential with permission to create a computer object or domain admin account credential during the domain joining process. Next, the DNS servers configured in Cisco ISC must be able to resolve all forward and reverse DNS queries for the domain we are integrating. Additionally, these DNS servers must be able to answer SRV queries for domain controllers, global catalogs, and key distribution centers. An active NTP connection has to also be in place on the IEC server to synchronize time between IEC and the domain controller. Keep in mind that the time difference between IEC and the domain controller cannot exceed 5 minutes. The domain join could fail if the difference is greater than 5 minutes. The domain must have at least one operational global catalog server that is accessible by Cisco IEC. Finally, the I server must be able to reach the domain controller over TCP ports 389, 3268, 445, 88, 464 and UDP port 389. Let me walk you through the procedure live for a better understanding. Log to your IC server GUI using a super admin or system admin account. Navigate to the hamburger menu on the top left, go to administration, then identity management and select external identity sources. Click on active directory on the left side pane. Click the add button. Provide a name for your active directory join point and specify the active directory domain name in the active directory domain field. Then Click Submit. You will receive a server response indicating that the join point was added successfully. When you see this message, click Yes to proceed with the Active Directory joining process. Click Yes and enter your Active Directory domain admin account credentials. You can optionally specify an organizational unit, otherwise leave it blank. The store credential option is also optional but recommended to enable. Then click OK. When the join operation is complete, click Close. You will see the IEC node joined with the domain controller showing operational status. Your AD and IEC server are now integrated. You can verify the Active Directory integration by testing a domain user authentication. To do this, check the box next to the IEC node, click Test User, provide your domain username and password, Select the authentication type as Kerberos or MSRPC and click Test. IEC will authenticate with the associated DC and indicate if the authentication was successful. With this process, you have successfully integrated IEC with your Microsoft Active Directory and verified the authentication. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the TAC video portal for more information.